Shalom, shalom, family. This is Yael Ezra Ben Levy, aka Tommy Kurt I know it's been a while. Um, um, y'all's been good. Um, I I have a job. I've been working now for the um last two weeks, so I've been doing a lot of things that um kind of kept me away from making videos like I used to. So, but I'm back, and I want to make this quick video. Um, coming from Deuteronomy chapter 7, and I will read verse 7 through 9. Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 7 through 9. Hallelujah. And I will be reading from the King James Version. The Lord did not set his love upon you, nor chose you because you were more in number than any people for ye were the fewest of all people but because the lord loved you and because he would keep the oath which he has swore unto your fathers has the lord brought you out with a mighty hand and redeemed you out of the house of bondage from the hand of pharaoh king of egypt know therefore that the Lord thy God, he is God, the faithful God, which keepeth covenant and mercy with them that love him and keep his commandments to a thousand generations. Hallelujah. Now, please allow me to read it again. At this time, I will use the name of the Yah, the name of the Holy One of Israel. You may... Um, pronounce it another way, but this is the way that I pronounce it. So, hallelujah. Yehovah did not set his love upon you, nor chose you because you were more in number than any people. For ye were the fewest of all people. But because Yehovah loved you, and because he will keep the yoke which he has sworn unto your fathers, has Yehovah brought you out with a mighty hand and redeemed you out of the house of bondage from the hand of Pharaoh, king of Egypt. Know therefore that Yehovah thy Elohim, he is Elohim, the faithful Elohim, which keepeth covenant and covenant and mercy with them that love him and keep his commandments to a thousand generations. Hallelujah. Now I wanted to uh, make this video to... Um, like in a response to something that I said um, earlier, I made a post on Facebook that um, that God is eternal and that God cannot die. And some people responded. And I knew some people were responding in a certain way because I have Christian friends and they respond certain ways. I have Messianic, Messianic friends and they, res they respond certain ways. So I'm not shocked with the response that they gave. But I, I um, but one thing that I saw within this verse, it laid out perfectly clear that Yah showed His love for His people by redeeming them, by having mercy upon them, and bringing them out of situations and blessing them. Nowhere within that text did Yah reveal that He has to die to show his people how much he loves them in order to redeem them, in order to be merciful to them. In order to heal them, he did not have to die. Yah showed his love by redeeming his people out of the house of bondage. He did not tell Moses, the only way I could redeem them and show them how much I love them is I must die. And when I die, I will redeem you. That language is not in the Torah. Now, we know when we go into the um, New Testament writings that people love to go um, to John 3.16. All right, let me just go to a re read it real quick to let you know this is how people um, see that our Christians are Messianics or um, New Testament Hebrews, how they see this. And how I used to see it because... Um, as you know, my, uh, my background, I too was a Christian, a Messianic Hebrew roots. I was all that. Now, let's look at John 3.16. It 
You see where many people see this, that somehow either God will show his love by him dying, taking on human flesh and dying for you, or that he has to send someone in his stead to die for you in order to redeem you and free you from something. Okay, John chapter... John chapter... Three. John chapter three, verse sixteen. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have but have everlasting life. Let me just go ahead and keep reading, read down to verse seventeen and eighteen. For God sent not his son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. He that believeth on him is not condemned, but he that believeth not is condemned already because he has not believed in the name of the only begotten son of God. Let me go back to verse 16 because a lot of people would say God showed his love that he had for his people by becoming a man who is later revealed to be um, Jesus of Nazareth, or Jesus Christ, and that he was the Son of God, or, or God the Son, and that he died to show how much he loved his people, that he wanted his people back. Now, some Messianic Hebrews, or New Testament Hebrews, said that God sent his Son, or God became a man, and died, for his people Israel only. Christians will say that the world is speaking is of the whole world. He he loved the whole world so much that he died to save the world. But we will see, looking back in Deuteronomy chapter 7, that Yah showed Israel, his people, how much he loved them simply. By redeeming them out of bondage and keeping the oath that he made with their fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And nowhere within that oath that he made, nowhere within the text of Torah did, did he reveal to Moses, the only way I could show you how much I love you is by dying for you. That is not there. So, I just want to make this very quick video to, to show that, that the creator, that the eternal one does not, does not need to show how much he loved you by dying for you. He does not need to send in anybody else to die in your stead to show you how much he loves you. He simply said it, plain as day. So either we're going to take Yah at his word or we're not. He is eternal. Eternal does not has a does not have an expiration date on it. It doesn't have an expiration date. Once the eternal can die, he is not eternal. To call him the eternal one and believe that he could he can die or cease to exist for some period of time shows without a shadow of a doubt that he is not eternal if he can die so i just wanted to make this very quick video i actually went a little bit longer than uh, what i planned to but anyway i believe um i said what needed to be said i shared what needed to be shared just to give you something to think about based off what the text says that the creator if he says he loves you he does not have to die to show that he loves you. He simply said it. Him saying it should be enough. And if he loves you, he will do for you what you did for um, our ancestors. He loved them. He chose them. And he showed his love and his choosing of them on the things that he did for them and the things that he promised their fathers that he will do for their descendants. So this is your brother. This is your friend, Yael Ezra. 
Ben Levin, a.k.a. Tommy Kurtar. Shalom, love, and blessings. Till next time.